my brothers and sisters, I want to assure you today that whatever you're going to ask God in the name of Jesus Christ, and believe it, because the Bible says he that believe it, you will get what you ask. Praise the Lord. God bless you. You're welcome again. Let's have a short prayer before we hear the words. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for this wonderful privilege. Thank you for our life. Thank you for our family. Thank you for what we do. I pray that as we listen to your word, you talk to us yourself and let every explanation come from you. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise the Lord once again. I want to talk about the power in the name of Jesus. The power in the name of Jesus. And we're going to divide our topic into three subheadings. Number one, we're going to talk about the limited power in other names. And then number two, we'll look at the unlimited power that is in the name of Jesus. And then finally, we'll talk about the importance of names. So quickly, let's go to number one, which is the limited power in other names. Let's start reading from the book of Revelation chapter 5. Book of Revelation chapter 5. I read from verse 1 to 4. And I saw in the right hand of him that sat on that throne a book written within and on the backside sealed with seven seals. And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the book and to lose the seals thereof? This call is a challenge to every name upon the earth, every name under the earth, every name that are in heaven. The angel that was employed or commissioned or assigned to make this proclamation spoke with a loud voice so that nobody on earth, nobody under the earth, nobody in heavens will say he or she did not hear it, including spirit beings. And the angel with that loud voice was saying, who is worthy? Who is that person that has name, that thing that has name, that thing that has name all over the creation to open the book, a single book, and number two, to lose the seals in the book. And you ended with question. In verse 3, the Bible gave us the result. It said that no man in heaven, no man in earth, neither under the earth, was able to open the book, not just open it, but also to look into the write-ups thereon. So, it blots hopeless situation upon the earth that God has programs for each of his creature, human being on earth. And they are written in the book which was sealed seven times, closed up, and no man was qualified, which is in heaven and the earth and under the earth. Nobody was able, nobody was qualified to walk into the person in the throne holding 